Welcome YouTube subscribers slash visitors to my YouTube channel to this uh, lesson on uh, how to, well, lesson is maybe putting it a little bit too, uh, being a bit too kind to myself, but this is going to be just a demonstration, let's say, of how one can go about ordering shoe for sale to their house during the current coronavirus uh, situation going on over here in Israel on the 3rd of April 2020. So this is kind of a follow-up of sorts to a uh, post I did a few days ago on my, well, a couple of weeks ago actually at this point, um, uh, which I uh, described how to use Superfarm to order prescription medications online in Israel. So I'm making these videos for uh, basically as uh, you could say a sort of community service because um, just to help people stay home basically. Uh, this Superfarm, Superfarm is the main pharmacy in Israel and uh, they have launched this cool very very good new service which allows you to order prescription medications however because it's relatively new and uh, I looked like I need a suntan in this video that's me in the top left here um, they not a lot of people are aware that this actually uh, exists so I made this screencast and uh, screenshots and what have you in order to uh, walk people through that process now it works for three health funds Claudit Maccabi and Mayo Chedet and uh, I had to just update this because they have very, uh, and I think this is terrific, they've made the delivery, they've waived the delivery free for those over 65. It's usually 29 shackles and it's free if you order more than 249 shackles, no matter what age group or demographic you're in. Uh, but it's free in all cases for those who are more than 65 years old. And that's because I guess those are the most vulnerable people <laughs> for this coronavirus epidemic. So nice move on Super Farms part. Now for this, um, uh, tutorial uh, slash demo I want to show people from the very start how to order groceries online now this could be this is for as I said people who either the Hebrew is not the best and let me just be totally clear and say my Hebrew is also not perfect um, um, and it's also for uh, people uh, <coughs> you know who may not be totally technically proficient so I'm thinking that anyone over age pensioners OEPs Slash even maybe their you know their grandkids could show them this video and uh, show them how to use. So I did get some good uh, good traffic on my medium post. I think about 600 or 700 views. So uh, I'm taking that as an as an encouraging sign that some people it did reach some people and maybe helped a few people to to order those medications. Um, so basically, just to jump quickly for a second, Shufersal currently has some branches open on a 24 basis and their list is being linked to from the homepage of Shufer So you can go in here and see. Sniff, Kotovet, Ir, and Telephone. This is your city. This is the address. And some are open until two in the morning. This one in in Jerusalem, and a few more. Now, how do you, how do you find the Shufersal website? So, uh, just plug into your Google search engine. You can use Hebrew or English, Shufersal, and you will get to Shufersal.co.il. This on the left hand side, you can see it says here Shalom Oreach. Oreach is guest, so it's uh, this is where you log in. Hitchabrut um, is, uh, you know, if you have an account, this is where you can log in. And Harishma uh, um, on the left hand side, the left hand side is to register. So um, when you click on the registration form, you will be prompted with these um, two options. The default one is Lekoach Prati. And you have also here Lekoach Iski. Lekoach Iski uh, is, uh, is, is uh, sorry, for business customers. So if you are a private customer, you want to keep to the right-hand side of this sign-up form. Um, so there's two fields here. The first one is, uh, this acronym is Mispar Teodat Zahud. That's your national ID number, your Teodat Zahud. And the second one is for uh, either your mail, which is your email, or telephone Nayad, which is your cell phone slash mobile phone as people from um, the UK and Ireland uh, would call it, and the last, uh, sorry, this is Ms. Uh, if Moadon. If you've gone in for their Moadon, which is like their club point system, uh, you can put in your uh, card number there, and that'll associate uh, your online account with your, you know, your kind of dumb, dumb card, if you want to put it like that. Um, I mean, dumb card is in that it's not synced to the internet yet. Arbasifrot achronot kartis ashtray shufisal. And this is if you've gone in for the Shufersal credit card, which I don't, I don't recommend you do. They really push these things, and they're actually full, full-fledged credit cards, as far as I'm aware. Um, but anyway, if you have one of those, you can put in the four digits. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate now. I've set up a Gmail account just for this, 
just for the purpose of this video shoot for sale demo at gmail.com and then going to register a new account right now right here as if you were doing it yourself now uh to get a teodetsu hoot number i was sure i'd come across a uh, teodetsu hoot generator before and indeed there is a github project and uh, i haven't actually uh forked or downloaded this uh, or cloned i should say uh, the project i have just clicked on the demo link uh, this is by a user called gorg georgie boonin thank you georgie boonin of uh, playtech software for developing this tool which i'm sure has some illicit uses but uh today it will serve a good purpose so you get this one um you get this one by default it's just what came up um it might already be because i just tried to set up an account with an address I'd already used and it rejected me so uh, I may have used up that number but let's give it a shot anyway um, and let's put in our new email demo at gmail.com and let's see does the system accept these credentials uh, ah this is for this is not to register this is not to register um, So let me just try this one more time. Eno chaver modon amshich talich arishma. Ah, so you have to click on the bottom form actually um, to sign up for the website. So that was that actually only works if you do already have or you or do you already have your credentials um, somehow in their system. So I'm just gonna proceed. I'm gonna attempt to set up an account, and I'm not sure. I'm gonna use a fake name. I'm not sure how far this is gonna work. And the same Shlomo Cohen. I'm going to use my fake national ID number. I'm going to give a fake phone number. Uh, and I'm going to uh, give my demo Gmail account. Um, and I'm going to create a password. And um, there, that odds. No, I do not do that. I do not want to receive their um, stuff. Um, I'm just going to tick these because I'm not going to use this Gmail Gmail address again. So it looks like it's processed my uh, registration. So that's that's what's required. So obviously put in real details um, when you're doing that, and um, that looks like it's enough to get me into the system. And indeed, uh, I've just received from Shufrasal at my uh, at my burner address, Shufrasal demo. I've just received a confirmation of registration. So that's what you need to do to uh, do that. So let me just remind that the steps required were if you don't have a club card, uh, you will just click on that bottom button and you'll put in your uh, your national ID number, your name, your email address. And uh, when, once you get to the delivery stage, um, you'll be able to input your actual address. So this is the this is the online interface and um, basically how it works. I'm just going to talk talk you talk whoever's watching this through the various areas of of the online shoe for sale system. Um, so um, it has a functionality uh, to check the availability of deliveries. It has um, sorry, it doesn't support actually open tap blocking so you can't do that um but you can you can create some some shopping lists over here um if that's something if you're sharing access to the account um but the main thing that i want to show people is let, let's just go through go through the uh process so click on to patach shufasal online um and this will take you into the actual uh shopping component here of the system so we're currently recording this video just before the Pesach uh, festival, which is Passover. Um, but so it's kind of pushing these products on us. But this is basically how it works, right? Um, so I'm just going to read out these: Nekayon v'chad pa'ami, cleaning, and uh, you know, chad pa'ami, single-use plastics. So these are the main categories, and then under each category, you have subcategories. So the reason I mentioned Pesach is because it's they've I don't think Chad Pami is usually and, and Nikayon is the first thing, but because there is it's traditional to clean uh before Pesach they've uh, rejigged their site a bit to kind of make those more prominent. Uh Motzre Chalav Ubetzim is, you know, dairy and eggs. Here we have Perot Yarakot uh which is fruits, perot yarakot, vegetables, and pituchim are like these uh what do you call them, like nuts and you know, dried 
um, Pierrot Yevashim, dried fruit, that kind of stuff, uh, which Israelis love uh, for some reason. Basar of Adagim is meat, chicken, and um, and uh, fish. So Motre of is chicken products. Of Tari, Shufusal, fresh Shufusal meat. Uh, chicken, sorry, of Tari, uh, premium. Arroz, that's another brand of chicken. So you can go for the type of chicken you like. And Ma'afia, uh, um Ubetalechem is the bakery section. So here you have your, you know, uh, cookies, pastries, whatnot. Um, uh, Beit Alechem Afiyab Makom is, is, this is so you can buy online the stuff uh, that they sell at the back of Shufersal in the little on site bakery. Finally, we have Mishka Otia in alcohol with uh, tabak, which is uh, drinks, uh, wine, al- alcohol, so that would be, I guess, spirits and beer. And uh, a tabak is tobacco, yeah, so cigarillo, basically. So enough said because people should not be smoking, especially at this. Uh, they're saying it's a uh, it's a risk factor for coronavirus. So I will I will not be demonstrating uh, how to buy smoking sm- cigarettes and whatnot. But let's let's just add a couple of examples, right? So let's go into uh, Govina. Uh, so it is letting me open tabs now. So I, I'm just going to do a very quick sh- demonstration shop here, right? Let's put in. So basically, um, once you've clicked on a main category, uh, you have I have 266 Kolamot Stream, 266 products within the uh, cheese. And um, we're looking mainly here at stuff like Labne, which is um, how do you, how do you describe Labne? It's a uh, it's like filtered from uh, you. You can make it at home actually. It's, it's quite good stuff. Um, but anyway, on the right hand side of the screen, you have some filtering options. So you can categoriot. You can filter by subcats, so Guvinot, uh, Shemenet, like if you want to only see fatty cheeses, Guvinot, uh, Meyuchadot, like specific cheeses. Uh, so you can just play around, and uh, if you know the vocab, uh, you should have no problem. I'm just going to take off that filter um, and just show some of the other filters that one can do. You can look at it in a table, or you can click on this guy to see them in a list. Um, and it's default ordered by it says relevantiut, which means relevance. Or you can also mayen um, lefi order according to mechir namuch at gavoa. So you can filter from uh, cheap products up to more expensive products. You can filter from mechavoa and namuch from the more expensive cheeses to the cheaper cheeses. Uh, uh, and then uh, Populario, it's another one. Uh, Shame Ole and Shame Your Red. You can alphabetical and reverse alphabetical. So this would be starting with Aleph and working to the end of the alphabet and uh, vice versa here. And uh, Populario, it's according to popularity. So those are the filters. After You can also uh, search according to, um, you know, I only want to see. So the Shufersal website has gotten a lot better recently, actually. And now it's a pretty full-fledged, uh, it's you know professional, worldwide, international standard online shopping environment. So full credit to Shoe for Self for rolling this out. And you can play around. I'm not going to demonstrate all the filters, but one that people might want to do is the cash root area here. So you can uh, filter according to the the um, level of kosher certification. And if you want to see more, click on Hatzag uh, Od. Hatzag Od. Sorry, excuse me. Hatzag Od. Vadat uh, Mahadrin Tanuva, Rabanut Mekomi, it's a local Rabanut. So I'm just keeping basic level kosher, but Beit Joseph I know is a higher level of uh, cash root, and it'll show you just only products that are up to that standard. So uh, if depending on your religious sensibilities, you might want to play around with these. Now, how to actually add stuff to your shopping cart? So basically, uh, this here stands for Yechidim, uh, which is units. This here stands for kilogram, and uh, you know, depending on how the unit is um, is denominated, uh, you may want to uh, order by the you know a, a few. So, I'm actually craving cheese right now. I have to be honest. So I'm going to stick in two kgs of this Schufersal own brand cheese. It costs thirty shekels a kilo. So I, let's just for let's just as a demo. So I'm going to put in one kg of cheese. And I'm gonna get three of these, this product. So look, it doesn't. I mean, there's. I guess there's no real point in going through the other product categories. Let's add a bit of milk into my cart. 
Um, that's really how this works. And if you want to remove something, click on the uh, X item. You can imp increase the quantity. So let's say, let's up this to five packets of cheese and let's get rid of our milk like so. And you have your, um, you have your current uh, spend amount here. So, I mean, if you're trying to keep towards a strict shopping budget, it's actually a lot easier than uh, shopping in the supermarket because you literally get your life count. So I think it's a very impressive system. Uh, I think that's really all there is to be said about this. Um, you can leave a note here. Um, and uh, you can also save this list for a future, future use by clicking on Shmira. Lurishima. So this these are use uses that lists that you can reuse and you can give it a name like Hagvinochali Hagvinochali and click on Shmira to save or uh, you can even do a background image. Uh I don't it doesn't like the um it doesn't like that thing. So look now I have my little area for Sh Mr. Shlomo Cohn, non existent person. He has his cheese list and he can go go in and watch this watch this for coolness so shlomo, shlomo wants to order his cheese repetitive cheese fix he clicks on josefet lasal and uh it just prompts you can select all uh he's going for his usual cheese staples and josefet lasal and now they're in the shopping list so really cool really cool system there um let's just run with this a little bit more uh when you're when you're ready to to check out so you can click on uh just as if you were in a um real shoe for sale and also just as if you're in a real shoe for sale they order you completely they offer you completely random uh upsell and cross sell products uh, uh while you're in the process so they're they're offering me a uh, uh thermometer because of the coronavirus i guess so why not i'll take it thermometer along with my cheese um, and that's down to 10 shackles so very nice so now I'm going to initiate the checkout process it prompts me for my password which I will put in um, and now this is the final screen and once you enter these credentials once um, these will be saved in the system so um, let's just go shame Prati is your first name sorry um, Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew. So I am Mr. Shlomo Cohen. Um, now this is Bechirat Kotovat Lamishloach. I think you can order for. Um, you order. You also have, by the way, at the top of the screen, the collection button. That's if you want to collect it yourself. And the Rot say Li Suf Et Lamishloach Beatzbi. So then you just need to select your uh, branch. You need to select your city first. And then after you choose your city, so only the one Ha'oman uh, supports uh, the collection, and that's actually because Ha'oman, I have insider knowledge, is apparently where they actually, um, in Jerusalem, uh, pick the items from. But let's go for delivery to your home. So you can do this. So You can send, you can send this to your grandmother. Um, so I am Shlomo Kong for the purpose of this fake account, but I can actually send it to Mrs. Rivka Cohen, for example. Um, and I would put her phone number so that this they pass on to the delivery person so they will call Rivka Cohen and say your your shoe for sale order is on the way but let's just do it for my fake person Shlomo Cohen um, Kinui Lekatova this means a nickname for the address so because you can save this um, you can assign a nickname so that you can easily choose the address so I would here let's say I do buy Chali or I can say or I can save my grandmother's details and say bit uh, you know, Doda, Riv, my Hebrew typing has gone terrible today. So that's the purpose of a Kinui. So I'm just going to say, Adir uh, Ashali, Yishuv, Yerushalayim, and Rehov, and Mikud. Um, uh, let's just say, and you're going to send it to the, the Doha Yisrael, the, the post office. Um, in the center of Jerusalem because I don't want to even use a fake address and uh, accidentally select someone's real home and that would be their creepy. I know for a fact that um, because I used to have a post box here that a group pass 41 is just a uh, door Israel. So I'm just going to quickly grab the postcode uh, for that. So Rehov, we're going to put in a group pass. Uh, 
agree and the system will even auto complete to help you along the process number 41 and it's oh i didn't even need to do that step it automatically fills out the me code which is the postcode and this is where you put in your phone number telephone and uh here you have suk bait whether it's bait mishutaf or bait prati bait mishutaf is a shared house so this is telling the post uh you know so that if you have roommates for example and uh whatever so that the guy delivering it knows there's going to be other people and the final field is ha'arot lekatovet, which means notes for the this address. So you can leave notes for the address saying that it'll get passed on. So ha'knisa liad hadoa besad small, let's say. I may have the joys of not being able to spell a non-native language properly. So uh, you can leave a note there. So. Um, that's it and i'm gonna click on save and that will uh, basically save this address for future for future use um and then now if something's missing here you can see it's giving me a prompt that my it tells you for kind of stupidly only at this checkout stage uh instead of when you added it to your um to your cart that something isn't in stock so it says uh that these um this item is not in stock and will not be delivered um uh, so this this cheese is the non runner it's not there but you can click on this button which means continue to the uh, checkout process process without the item so you can see that my amount as a result has decreased to uh, 69.9 shekels. The main loach is a delivery fee and it is 30 shekels. Um, so until 750 shekels, it's 30 shekels. If you spend more than 750 on your groceries, it's only 15. Um, I thought it used to be 40. 30 is pretty reasonable. Look, if you're doing your weekly shop, uh, especially at the moment, would you, you should pay 30 shekels to not take the risk of exposing yourself to the coronavirus. Now, I think I'll have to end the video here because uh, this is the point at which you have to en you enter your credit card details and uh, I do not particularly want to edit my credit card details on the screen. Um, and I guess my only part, my, the, the main purpose of my video was just to uh, demonstrate how to do this. I'm gonna try put it on pause and enter them and uh, see if we can just get to the final stage. Okay, so I just added in uh, a credit card here and if you're not, adding in your own credit card, uh, you will get the option to, you have to specify if it's your credit card or if it's not your credit card, so that if it's not your uh, credit card, uh, you need to put in the credit card holder's national ID number. So you really can use the system to uh, pay for your, your grandparents or, or some somebody in your family and just do it online or get them to do it online. Uh, it is quite flexible in that respect. So the final stage, and I'm, I'm not gonna go to the point of picking my delivery slot um but that will be the final state in the order process is here you um uh basically either authorize them or deny them to uh swap out products now a lot of people have had the experience that true for sale don't have an awful lot of products that they say they do so that would be that if between you when you place this order and when the picker is in the shoe for sale, uh, go out to the shelves to uh, assemble your order for you. Um, if in the interim time something that you've ordered runs out of stock, they can do a substitution. Um, so you can either say, um, that means uh, basically swap out my stuff, which, which means like without any coordination, so they'll just go ahead and do it. Or you can deny them that. Al mutrim khalofiim, and in which case they will not swap something out of stock, and it'll just be deducted from your order, and you will not get it. Um, I don't actually get this option. Uh, maybe because it's a first-time delivery. Um, that says I will be at home. Uh, um, I will be at home, and this is I will not be at home. Leave it next to the door, so you can give them that permission. Finally, uh, if you need a siruf teudat mishloach lahazmana, that's just the um, shipping confirmation. It's like a receipt, basically showing all your items. You, this is to include it, and this is um, without prices. So im im pirot So they're going to give you that anyway. 
um, that you know confirmation this one hides the prices so if it's a gift or you're buying for somebody uh, you know the way when you order from Amazon you can you can select the gift option and it won't tell them how much you spent so likewise here Katuv uh, Ha'ara and this is again if you look for notes you can this this is I think the place to put delivery notes so you could say um, uh, you know Knisa Liyad Knisa Tadoa for example because this and that's basically as far as I'm gonna go here because unfortunately um, this is the end if I click issue my credit card it will be charged 70 shekels for uh, cheese that I don't need to an address I don't live in to a person that doesn't exist so that would not be good um, but basically the final stage is you can choose a delivery slot and in, in any event if you, if you don't manage to do that they will call you at the number just to coordinate um, but at the moment it's unfortunate that you need to place the order first because um, the uh, slots at the moment are like a week out um, so you will not get one all that quickly unfortunately but that's just because there is very high demand on the system so that really is just a quick uh, well not so quick but um, a run through anyway of how shoe for sale online works uh, I'll probably send this to the odd person that asked for help on uh, maybe Facebook or something like that so um, good luck shopping through shoe for sale it's a good system and I'm sure it'll be even better by the time uh, um, an update to this video is made and uh, keep safe, healthy and stay home.